I'm Hog. This is the dice. Ireland doesn't have a Black History Month, which seems like something of an oversight. We've got plenty of black people. And one of our most well-loved and celebrated musicians, Phil Linnet, was a black man born and raised in Dublin. But anyway, I'd like to hope that if we did have a Black History Month, we wouldn't make it the shortest month of the year because that feels less like an oversight and more like a deliberate slight. Because Ireland doesn't have a Black History Month, I'm just going to use the American one for now. As you can see, I'm extremely white, so instead of speaking over black people, I feel it's more appropriate that I use whatever little platform I have here to try and draw attention to black creators here on YouTube. Speaking as someone who has tried to diversify my YouTube subscriptions, the YouTube algorithms don't exactly make that easy. They tend to point you out in a completely different direction. So, I feel that whatever we creators can do to help will probably be useful. These are five of my very, very favorite black owned YouTube channels. I'm not giving them in any particular order of preference. These are just ones that I think are interesting, that are entertaining, informative, and that I think are, are, are undersold and underviewed. We're going to start with my friend, Uh Oh Burns. She is a cosplayer and LARPer who makes YouTube content about LARP, about cosplay, about makeup looks, wigs, costuming. She's extremely talented at all of this. Just look at the stuff she's been able to put together. It's, it's amazing. She's working on an extremely low budget. She has a criminally low subscriber count for the quality of what she's putting out. And Frankly, the LARP community needs more of this, more of, more of her and more of other black people and people of color in general who are not only taking part in LARP and diversifying the LARP scene, but also publicly engaging in the LARP community. It can help the LARP community by helping us become more diverse and giving us more voices to listen to, to improve ourselves, but also to help black people and people of color feel more welcome within LARP and feel like maybe there is a place for them here, which there is. I found videos of people talking about their fears toward a certain game, but I want to talk about the fear of being a person of color and LARP in general, uh, especially starting out with LARP if you are new. I was actually kind of discouraged because I didn't see very many videos talking about this. And then one night, the other night, actually, when I tried to live stream this, I was just sitting there and I was like, man, I really wish this existed, that people could talk about this uh, on YouTube as a person of color in the game. And then my eyes just suddenly, I became Squidward tentacles and my eyes just opened up and I was like, girl. Why don't I do it? We're going to move on to the channel Black Nerd Problems. This is a really, really great channel. I've been following it for a few years. They don't do just do the YouTube channel. They also have a website where they publish a lot of articles. They've got Twitter, they've got Instagram. They make their own memes and stuff. Really good, really fun. The articles they publish are usually analyses on aspects of nerd culture. They'll do stuff like the usual reviews on TV shows and movies and video games, comics, that kind of thing. But they'll also talk about the role of black people in nerdom, the role of black women in nerdom, that kind of thing as well. They'll, they'll have some social commentary articles as well that are important. The YouTube channel is mostly skits and, and things like that. And the skits are hilarious. The whole, the whole group from Black Nerd Problems, Omar and Jordan and Nicole and Brittany, they're, they're all really clever and witty and incisive. Very, very funny people. How the f did Darwin die? His ability was to adapt to any f***ing thing. And that man is dead? But Jean Grey came back 14 times, f***ing telekinesis and telepathy. Her power is f***ing white privilege, dude. Then, very easily segueing from Black Nerd Problems into Redis 101, a channel run by Laron Redis. This is 
the second YouTube channel I have here that is a solo channel. The Ron Reedus does a very similar thing to Black Nerd Problems, analyzing, reviewing, talking about aspects of nerd culture, talking about video games and movies and TV shows. Less on the comics. I don't think the Ron reads comics. He is extremely well informed on the subjects he talks about. He is extremely knowledgeable on parts of the film industry, on storytelling and writing. He delivers all of his content with a certain sense of humor, even a kind of very dry sense of humor. Even when he's talking about less than pleasant things, he does it in a very dry kind of biting way, which I really appreciate. So definitely check his channel out. Look, you knew Wakaliwood had to be in here, if you know what Wakaliwood is. Wakaliwood is a film studio based out of the village of Wakaliga in Uganda. It's run and founded by Isaac Godfrey Jeffrey Nabwana, also known as Ig, who has been described as Uganda's Tarantino. He makes batshit crazy action movies with effects that look like the, the Microsoft Word clip art versions of Michael Bay effects and, and, and props that are cobbled together out of bits of old cars and pipes and trees and stuff. And he uses it, he goes with it. He takes that and he makes it the aesthetic. He, he, makes, the, he makes it the theme. He makes it as crazy as possible and just runs with what he has. And that's a really effective way of filmmaking, I think, to be able to take what you've got and make it part of the point. You've probably heard of one of the first movies of theirs that went viral, Who Killed Captain Alex, which is crazy. They were running a Kickstarter to make more of their movies, which I backed. I now back them on Patreon because I love their work. It's just so much fun. <laughs> I'm going to finish off with a very different kind of YouTube channel. If you watch my channel, you know me. I'm a folklorist. I, 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 my main wheelhouse is Irish folklore because I'm from Ireland, I'm Irish, that's what I've studied. But I'm interested in folklore from all around the world. The problem is I find it very, very difficult to find sources on folklore from African cultures and, and African countries that isn't being explained by white people. Because look, I have seen enough of Irish history and Irish culture being explained by the Brits to never ever ever trust colonizers trying to tell the history of those they've colonized. No. <laughs> so when somebody pointed out to me the existence of home team history, I was delighted. This is a channel run by a black man that delves into the history, folklore, mythology and culture of African nations. It talks about the different subgroups and, and cultural groups of the African continent. It talks about what happened to them in diaspora. It talks about their interactions with Europe and colonizers. It highlights aspects of African history that white people tend to presume don't exist. Like the huge stone cities that once stood or the, the advances in technology that were made on the African continent. This stuff is important and getting to hear about the folk tales and mythology of Africa from a non-white perspective is also really, really important. There's, it's not being exoticized, it's not being treated like the superstition of a primitive people or any kind of bullshit like that. It is being presented cleanly and clearly and that's really refreshing to see. 
All right, that is my top five black YouTube creators. I would like to give honorable mention to my friend Darker Larper. They have only just started their channel and only have one video up as far as I'm aware. But they are planning on making a lot of videos about LARP and about specifically LARPing as a black person. Honorable mention also goes to my friend Zia Zeitgeist. She hasn't posted in a good few months, which is why she didn't make it into the list and doesn't have a whole lot of content up. But she's very creative, very good. She has an amazing voice. I love her voice when she's narrating stuff. So she's got an audiobook on Bandcamp. I'm going to put that in the description. I'm going to put Zia's audiobook in the description. You, you, you should go get it. She recorded a bunch of Edgar Allan Poe poems. It's, it's really good. Uh, also to uh, T1J, who is one of the most prominent uh, creators in Left Tube, the leftist sphere of YouTube makes extremely nuanced, well thought out, well considered videos on social issues and to Comics Explained, whose channel does exactly what it says on the tin, he talks about comics and he is honestly, his channel is how I've been keeping up with what's been going on in comics lately. That, that, that's, <laughs> that's the only reason I have any knowledge in that field anymore. Both of those channels have really really high subscriber bases already so i feel like they don't need my help as much as others what little help my thousand or so subscription channel can give 